morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School and I've been working on a project now over the last several months on and off and I'm working with another blacksmith on part of this project, Brad Holman, to create a set of tools that are based on a tomahawk handle. And the original idea for this, for me, came from the Mastamere find, which was a 10th century Viking tool chest that was found in Sweden. And it was pulled up out of a mire by the chain with a piece of farm equipment. And all the tools were inside this chest from the 10th century. It's the most complete or the most prolific amount of tools that have been found in one place. And there were several other items found around this tool chest in that same bog as well. But looking at historical facts and looking at the way tools were used over time, many times a blacksmith would have a single drift so that multiple tools would fit the same type of handle. And in the modern day, we can use that concept of the tomahawk handle, which is a friction fit sliding in from the top with no wedge, to make several different types of tools to fit that handle. I did a video a few months ago, a couple months ago, about a set of woodworking tools made by Brad Holman that he called the Woodcraft Tool Set. And they're all based on the tomahawk handle. You have an axe, an adze, a bow lads, a auger bit adapter, and then there was also a tomahawk head. Since then, I have adapted my HB Forge Shipbuilder's Axe, which is also on a tomahawk shaft, to that kit. And I'm currently working on an idea that was given to me by Bobby Moody, one of my subscribers and also one of the guys on the Learning Center of the Pathfinder School. Ask about how about a bill hook that fits a tomahawk handle. So today, we're going to work on that bill hook. Stay with me. Okay, so let's talk about this concept real quick. Again, we're making tools that all fit the same handle. And I want to make a bill hook for the tomahawk handle. So I've got two drifted components here that will have to be welded to the bill hook. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want to weld them. It's probably going to be about here on the last one, even with this. So I'll clean these up, clean this up. I'll get this blade profile done, and then I'll weld these two rings for the bill hook. A great day today for forging. Pouring down rain outside, but dry as a bone under this overhang at the school. Good day for a project. Okay, so we're getting ready to weld these rings for this tomahawk handle onto the bill hook blade. So the things we have to make sure of is A, do we have it in the right spot? And B, do we have it centered with the lower part of that handle or the teardrop part of that handle. Looks like we do. So we'll go ahead and run a bead here and here. We'll get the other one in place and then we'll kind of touch things up from there. Okay, so there we go. One side's welded up and now we'll 
get the other one done. Okay, this is important now. Now we're looking at fit up, and I'm sliding this handle in here before I do any more work to it. And I see that I'm not quite lined up square in both directions. It looks to me like the gap is here where I'm rubbing. So I need to move this to this side a little bit. down to make sure it's even. Looks pretty good now. Now, next thing I want to do is make sure a blade stays straight. Which it looks like it did. And then we can finish up our grind work before we heat treat. Okay, we've got everything the way we want it now. The fit up is right. Initial grind is squared away. Welds are all nice and tight. Everything looks good. So now we're going to go ahead and do our heat treat. Okay, so again, post heat treat, I just want to check our fit up. It was still a little hot. But. Now, you can see we still got some room here, and that's what we want. We want to be able to hammer that thing home before we use it. And we got plenty of handle length here. I made a cutout right there so I could choke up as far as I could on the blade for fine work. And we've got plenty of blade ahead of the handle here because we can drop this down at least another half an inch with a mallet. I think that thing is ready to rock and roll. So now we're pretty straight. Our blade stayed nice and straight when we forged it. Everything looks pretty good there. So now we're going to let this thing cool down and put a final sharpening on this dude. We should be able to just tap this thing and the handle should slide out. Yep, it does. Exactly what we want. Just like that. And we'll have another tool for the toolbox that fits Tomahawk handle. These J belts really make it ideal for getting around that curve like that because that belt almost conforms to that curved area inside the blade. Folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School, and I appreciate you joining me here today while we made this bill hook to fit a tomahawk handle. Really nice tool, and we can just carry the head if we need to and make the tool handle on the fly, or we can use a tool handle like a tomahawk handle that will fit several different tool heads 
to allow us more packability and less weight. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. All of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.